Have you ever wondered what's the difference between a seal and a sea lion? I'm Jonathan Bird, and welcome to Blue World Academy. All seals are contained within the taxonomic superfamily called pinnipeds, which translated from the Latin roots means fin-footed. Within this superfamily of fin-footed marine mammals, there are three families. The first, Odobenidae, contains only one species, the walrus. Not hard to recognize. Help us, Odobenidae! You're our only hope! The next family is called Otaridae, and it contains the animals we call eared seals. Sea lions and fur seals are so-called eared seals because they have an external ear flap. I'll come back to that. The last family is called Phocidae. These are the so-called true seals, or earless seals. I hate both of those common names because all seals are truly seals, so the term true seals is meaningless. And earless? Well, phocids lack an external ear flap, but they most definitely do have ears, so that's a bad name too. It's probably better just to call them phocids. Although they look like underwater puppy dogs, seals and sea lions are actually most closely related to bears, badgers, and raccoons, which explains why they are so darn cute. Anyway, the Otari seals are easy to recognize. Remember, those are the sea lions and the fur seals. They have external ear flaps, their rear flippers can be rotated forward, and their front flippers are really strong, so they can stand up and walk on all four flippers on land. They can even run, sort of. Ready? When they swim, they generally provide propulsion with the front flippers, like swimming the breaststroke and they use the rear flippers to steer, and they definitely swim better than they run. The phocids have no external ear flaps, they cannot rotate their rear flippers forward, and they can't lift their body and walk on their fins. So on land, the best they can do is an awkward inchworm thing. In the water, they use their rear flippers for propulsion, swishing them back and forth, and the front flippers are for steering and goofing with divers, of course. Seals are among my favorite marine creatures, and I could talk about them all day, but I'm gonna stop with the difference between seals and sea lions and leave some more for a Blue World episode. Thanks for watching Blue World Academy, and feel free to leave me a comment or a question you'd like answered. And don't forget to subscribe. Actually, that went better than I expected. That was awesome, you nailed it. Uh, Boom!